M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So there's been some confusion about updating the firmware on the BT01 microphone, Bluetooth microphone. So at the moment, these are coming out of the factory with the latest firmware, so you don't actually need to do this yet. Some people think you need to use the app to update the firmware. This is the new app that you're getting for the Anytone 578 UV Plus, or newest model. But you don't, and so let's just show you here the instructions how to update the firmware. So number one, turn off the radio. So you've got the power here at the top. Press and hold the PTT and the PF3 key. So PTT here, PF3, and then power on the radio. And you may see some messages now. It does mention USB and the radio being connected, or let's call it the, the handset being connected to your PC. So look here, USB charge, firmware upgrade. So plug that into your PC, okay, first. And then you're going to get yourself a, a something that shows up in the device manager. So it's a right click. I haven't got the mic yet. I will test it when I've got it. Uh, and then double click ports, and you'll find your port number which is going to be needed so then after that scroll down the red light should now be blinking and the microphone has entered into update mode use the USB cable to connect the microphone to your PC yeah we said that open the 578 radio computer programming software and go to tools firmware update so that's just that's the normal process and uh, you so you do that and then you I'll show you that now and then you select it and that's it you update the the you know the microphone or the bluetooth microphone so you can do it via the pc watch the rest so let's open the cps now that if you can't if you haven't got that it's here with all the other files that you download here from bridgecom so let's just open the cps which looks like this then we'll go to tools firmware upgrade now when you click this you get this little window here at the bottom up here it's the qx firmware update exe click ok now click this little symbol at the bottom and you'll get this window here appear click yes and you get this file if you can't find this file you can actually download the qx file separately anyway now click open you remember you've got your your new BT01 in a file saved. Double click this file number here and then write to the radio. It says here model BT mic version 100. So it'll be the, it's the original firmware. I'm just going to show you that another time. Just going to out, out click from that. So back to the top, go tools, firmware upgrade. Click OK and you get that symbol at the bottom. You get your firmware update here, then click open file and you'll have it saved. It's the BT01VH100H with this long group of numbers here. Double click that file. It's now in there and then you can now write it to the radio when the, radio, when the device is connected. Now remember there is a USB connection on the side of the BT01. Let's just show you that on this uh, pamphlet here. So here, USB charge firmware upgrade. So 7.3, bye for now. I hope this helps you clear up the fact that you do not need the app to upgrade the firmware on the Bluetooth handset. Bye for now, 7.3.